Okay. Take three. <laughs> We're going to be starting the work on this bedroom this weekend. Starting off with removing the carpet and the popcorn ceilings. We're going to be putting new flooring in here um, and just uh, having it match the rest of the remodeled home. Uh, it's taken us a while to finally get to this room, but we're doing it. Time to remove some popcorn ceilings. We found that if you're removing popcorn ceiling, a really effective way to do it is to wet the ceiling and let it kind of soak in for a little bit and as you're removing, you kind of periodically add more water and let it soak in and if you do this, you'll it'll come off just like, you know, just like butter. It's it's pretty easy. Uh, that makes a huge difference when you're removing the popcorn ceiling. to mention this in the beginning part of the video but we will also be working on the restroom the bathroom is of course part of the bedroom so uh, as we're remodeling the bedroom we're also including the bathroom in that that's gonna involve totally removing and re redoing the shower um, and then of course the flooring and we will also be putting in a pocket door for some privacy in uh, this small bathroom I wanted to stop to take a video of this. This is pretty bad. Uh, just water damage over time. Uh, yep. Definitely a good thing that we're getting rid of the shower. The work continues. We are removing this flooring today. Uh, we did it in the rest of the house and it's probably one of the things that I've been dreading the most about this particular project because it's pretty terrible. Um, it's just these wood tiles, they, sh they shatter, they fall into pieces. It's not easy to remove them. The black mastic underneath is horrendous. It's sticky like tar. Removing it is just a real pain so we gotta do it though for the new floor um, let me show you what it looks like up close that's the black mastic it's essentially like tar and it's just terrible and we are going to be removing all of this hopefully can get it done relatively quickly. Um, we've been in a worse position when we removed it in the entire home, so at least it's just one room this time. So hopefully it goes by kind of fast so we can move on. And here we go. Power tools are magnificent. Uh, I've done about 15 minutes of this by hand, and I'm sweating a lot. So, check out this power tool. Okay, it is um the that you were coming in. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be uh working on this special staff. <laughs> 
Can you help me? Mini do day. So today we're gonna be starting the last process. Of Why don't you just tell me to your mask? Huh? I thought I should leave it up because it's secret. Uh, what? Okay. Start again. Oh. So this may look funny, but there's a reason to this madness. Putting the bags over our feet so that we can step on the floor that has all this black mastiff um, tar. This tar is relentless. If we track any of this anywhere inside, it just will not come off. Oh, this is going to prevent it from getting on the shoes, well at least I hope so. And hopefully uh, it ends there and we don't get any of this anywhere close to the house. Because, yeah, it's nasty stuff. Will it work? Well, I hope so. Today is Beanie Do Day. So today we're going to be doing the last, starting the last process of cleaning up the floor. We're going to be adding this product. This product, um, Beanie Do, it's a mastic and adhesive remover um, for concrete surfaces. So uh, this will be again the last step we do to clean up the floor to get rid of as much of this black mastic as we can before we do the soft leveler um, to be able to install the new flooring. So stay tuned for the process and you're going to get to see what this beanie do stuff. It's um, I believe it's soybean oil based or it's soybean based, so it's like soybean oil. Um, and uh, it basically kind of dissolves um, the black mastic, so it's gonna turn it into a black uh, goo, and it's gonna be really messy. Um, but we'll make sure to have all of our protective gear so that we don't track this stuff other places. All right. Time for some fun. It's been about over a week now since we put the Beanie Dew on the floor and I didn't think this would happen but it almost looks like it got absorbed into the floor or just dried up. Actually, I don't know if you can see so it looked like when we first put it on. Um, it almost looks like it dried up or something. So. We will just have to see how this goes. We're going to begin to scrape and 
and uh, okay, so it's like gummy. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's gonna be like. So we gotta clean it all up. Um, and that is the goal for today. Here we go. Put another layer of beanie do, and we're gonna start uh, using, possibly using a squeegee to gather up all the dissolved mastic, and then what what's still kind of stuck on the floor, we we'll have to use a scraper for. We're going to use kitty litter um, on the puddles of oil and uh, we'll use kitty litter to absorb it and pick it up. Just wanted to take a break to record that it's the middle of August and there's thunder, rain, lightning. So weird! but also kind of cool. Anyways, here's the kitty litter. We're soaking up the beanie do. And we have to finish quickly because the fumes are getting to Hector. Use the beanie do and picked it up with the kitty litter. You can see it looks much, much better now. You can actually walk on it with shoes and not get gunk all over our shoes. So now we're just gonna wash it all up, remove any any little bits of oil or stuff that's so there we're just gonna use some degreaser and pretty much mop up the floors really well.